Okay, I want to keep this. Uh, I want to keep this uh, video short and sweet, so I'm going to just try to tell you how to trade it if you want to try to trade it. So, uh, the big question is, I've got uh, you see on your screen, uh, on my screen, I should say, uh, one of my counts. This is my uh, bear, my bullish count. It's the reversal and breakout. So, if we've broken out, um, chances are we've got one, two. We're, we just finished the third wave, and we're creating the fourth wave, right? Um, we expect uh, in the fourth wave, to, you know, it could be a simple ABC, it could be a triangle. Um, you generally expect the four wave to come down and approach the uh, the one way so it should come down here a little further um, it may not it just may go sideways we're not sure so here's the big deal um, so with with that you've got you've got one two three uh, that one two three also could be uh, an ABC so I just want to want to this is why we still don't know whether we're bullish or bearish okay uh, but but we still could be looking at ABC so we got uh, you know I don't know a uh, B and uh, a C possibility there, and I can count five waves in that. Um, so not sure. And after an ABC, you should expect a five waves down one, two, three, four, five uh, to go up. Now, if this is a one, two, three, that means we should have a four coming down and a five going up. So you know, uh, time's only going to tell. So how do we how do we tell? Because they look the same. Well, uh, first off, we've got five waves clearly being formed right here. Let me just kind of uh, zoom in here on the five minutes so you can see it. Looks like a one wave that is being formed. Or in uh, or the beginning of an A wave, uh, A waves can be five waves or three waves. This is definitely five waves. You can see them clearly. You, I'll just draw them for you so you can kind of see. There we got uh, one, two, three, four, and five. I've got my projection for the bottom of this wave right here at the top of this wave right here. So I'm looking at somewhere to bottom out around the 53 dollar mark to 5320 something like that uh, possibly it could even come down here where this was consolidating it could come down to the low right here so here's what we expect since that's five waves we're going to expect the next wave to be an ABC up regardless of whether this is an ABC so if this is ABC uh, A B C down here and that's the four wave and then we're going up for five waves after that if if this is a bull scenario something like this is what we'll be looking at right um, if that's the case um, regardless we're, we're expecting here to be an ABC so we got a trade opportunity uh, so uh, what we want to do is wait for this wave to finish we want to count be able to count five sub waves in this five, fifth wave and so once we count the five sub waves and uh, generally in this small of a wave we need to count it in on the one minute or two minute uh, we can begin to uh, count those waves looks like we've got a one two being formed that could possibly be a one two and a three being formed I'm not sure uh, but uh, regardless we want to wait till that bottoms out uh, we can go go ahead and down here somewhere here around the fifty three dollar mark or so you want to go ahead and make your buy go ahead and buy because it's chance it's going to go up after this wave is formed um, regardless of bullish or bearish and it'll be a short term uh, trade um, then what you're looking at here there's a fib retracement, so after this is formed, let's just say it comes down here. It, we expect it to retrace at least to the 50% to the, uh, uh, or even the uh, 65 or the 786. It's probably going to come back up here in between 54, and, and it's only a dollar uh, trade. So uh, you say, why, why take this? The risk reward isn't there. Well, you don't have to if you don't want to risk it. But here's the thing. Uh, what if this is, uh, what if this is a, a bull wave here? Um, and... Um, and you don't want to miss it, and you're scared of missing it. And some people are FOMO buying right now because we've got this breakout in L, um, LTC. Well, if you don't want to miss it, well, you can go ahead and buy, and just so, in just in case it starts going up, uh, you're in, uh, and and you're in at a pretty decent price at 53. Really, you know, the low was 47.50 or something like that. So you're really in at a decent price, and it's going to start heading back up. And you're and you're in, and you're not scared. Uh, but uh, let's just say it, you're in, and it, it starts going up, and uh, and it continues going up. Great. But if it does doesn't go up and it reverses on you and comes back down. You just set your stop for break even. You haven't you haven't lost a thing. You, in fact, you've you've just hedged yourself. You've just made sure that you, you caught the wave if it goes up. But if it's going down, you want to be in cash so you can buy cheaper. So this is the way I would uh, address this wave. I'm probably going to be looking to make this little little trade. 
chances are we're going to do an ABC. Uh, we could form a triangle in here, and, and if we do, uh, you're going to see the C wave actually turn into a, a C, and then a D, and then an E, and then maybe up again, so if that's up. Um, now, what if this is uh, bearish? Well, here's what's happened. We've got a one wave being put in, and then we're going to have an ABC going up. Okay, so we're going to have uh, A, B, C like that going up. It says 1, 2, 3, but don't worry about it. Um, so anyway, it's going to go back up here to somewhere around the 65 or 786, and then it's coming back down. And, you know, I'm trading over 100 Litecoin, so I see that's yeah, $100 or uh, almost $200 uh, in profit. It's, you know, it's a little trade. It's no big deal, but, uh, hey, it's a couple hundred dollars extra money to buy Litecoin as it goes lower because it's going to ABC it, and then it's going to come down here, and it's probably going to bottom out somewhere around uh, 45 or so for the next wave. Uh, anyway, I hope that helps you think about how you do it. Just remember, if you enter here, set your stop for break even once it starts going up. If it doesn't go up, just you know, uh, just get out of the trade and see what happens. Okay, hope that helps. Have a great one.